uh, yesterday, or well, I guess Tuesday, what what we achieved is we got our Punisher fully fit. We got it with the uh, faction lasers uh, or the the faction uh, uh, laser crystals, and then we got the metaphor lasers, which helps out a lot. Uh, we also managed to upgrade. Um, yeah, well, we, we 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 did that. That's a big deal. Hey, Fatima, cool. Um, but that that's what we did. So we got the ship squared away, and we got our first ten million isk. Uh, well, I, I guess eleven million isk. So now we get to grind isk to upgrades, uh, because we want to increase the amount of isk that we earn per time spent. So that's kind of our initial goal right now, is to kind of grind out upgrades. Uh, the direct upgrade from this is an Imperial Navy Slicer. Uh, but we need quite a bit to make that a functional fit. Uh, it doesn't really get a whole lot of DPS, but it does get a range upgrade, which means that it gets to use better crystals, which is really helpful. Uh, for, that's a spark grip. Uh, these things are known for killing people uh, all the time because they kill you very quick. They do something like 300 or 100 applied DPS, and they'll, they'll melt me very quickly. Uh, however, if we play our cards right, uh, we'll actually be able to kite him and slowly pick him apart. And this is where the Imperial Navy Slicer, with its extra speed, really pays off uh, compared to other ships. Uh, but this is a... We, we, we just... We have to kite. There's no answer in the frigate except for kiting. Uh, if he does get within about 12, we're at 14 right now, but if he does get within about 12, uh, we're going to struggle. So we don't want to turn too fast. But we also don't want him to push us outside of the field. So we do have to make the occasional turn. Uh, so I, I kind of like to turn around 19 kilometers. Uh, and then when you turn, he kind of gains on you a little bit. So you got to be really careful when you're kiting him. You just wait for him to stop gaining on you. You make another turn. Uh, and then the, the idea is to turn to get him closer to you. And then... Um, Yeah, so we're, we're, we're just kind of turning to keep them closer, and then we're, we're shooting them as, as hard as we can uh, at a range. Uh, you can actually get away with this little, just orbit at 15. If you do that, he'll just push you out. So what happens is he chases you, and you end up flying kind of off in one direction, and you'll end up uh, you'll end up in a situation where you're outside of the, outside of the grid, and the only way back from outside of the grid is to um would be to fly at him and that would kill you so if you orbit him at 15 he'll just push you right out and that's that's scarier uh than manually piloting so this this is you have to manually pilot this one there's, there's not really a, a solid alternative but you're faster in theory it can't it can't, in theory, do that. If it just flew straight to the edge, you would die. And if you're orbiting, it's you're not much faster than it. Uh, if 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 you ever watch a couple ships uh, when when they orbit or or do what they do, uh, the one chasing. So you're spiraling around, right? It's chasing you. So you're kind of spiraling around it, and it'll eventually chase you out to the edge, almost every time. Uh, so you do really, really want to be careful that you don't end up uh, flying outside of bounds. And if you just right-click orbit, there's a really high chance that you'll just fly outside of bounds. I just picked a really bad trajectory here. Uh, he's going to get real close, but we got him. We have uh, strike grip Tesla. Uh, this thing should not be able to hit us once. Uh, we are going to go ahead and turn on our tank just in case it does. Start moving. Uh... This thing's just nasty. Go ahead and load standard. So we have to. Uh, it's from two weeks ago. Yeah, it did. It, it does look like a, a post change fit, uh, post hardener change fit, uh, which which means it can't be too bad, can it? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start shooting this thing. Uh, we are in a bit of a pickle. We're not quite. Oh, well, we are in a big a big pickle. Uh, I can't overheat because I don't have thermodynamics. We are in trouble. I'm flying directly away from him. 
I don't know how he hasn't torn my face off yet. Uh, we we should have died. What one hundred percent? We should have died right there. Uh, there's there's no reason that we should have lived through that. I I cannot believe that I just survived. Like I I'd be jumping for joy if I was a very easily excitable person. That I I cannot stress how lucky we are that we survived right there. Uh, it's it's affecting all of us in different ways and it's kind of chaotic. Uh, anyways, so uh, what we managed to accomplish today uh, is that we managed to upgrade our ship a little bit. Uh, we got T2 heat sinks on it. We changed our uh, our our damage control to a multi spectrum coating, uh, which we we lose a little bit of resistance doing this. It's it's not a big deal, but we lost a little bit of resistance. Uh, for an additional, I think that's 7 DPS. We went from 149 to 156. So we got additional DPS. Uh, we didn't finish any skills today. Uh, but the big thing that we did is uh, we started with 11 million S today. Uh, and after I sell my goodies, which I'm going to put these goodies into... Uh, we'll just put them in the Punisher for now. Uh, but after I sell my goodies, uh, we will have a chunk of this here. Let me... Get these goodies out here and sell them. Go ahead and sell that. And then click on this and sell that. Uh, so after we sell our goodies here, which is this is just one site, we got 4.5 million in it, uh, which is just enough for us to buy our next ship. So we can look forward to that tomorrow. Uh, but after after two hours, uh, we ended up getting those upgrades to our ship. And we also uh, made another 20 plus million isk on top of the upgrades to our ship. So, and then on top of that, I spent a chunk of isk and we bought 100 filaments because we're going to be using these for a while. So I bought a chunk of them. So we are pretty primed to upgrade our ship tomorrow. I might need to do one more abyss just to get the money. Uh, we, we did electrical filaments and we made uh, roughly uh, I'm going to say 28, 30 million S. So we did about 15 million S an hour, which is really solid for a character that is less than 6 hours old. He's got about 6 hours of playtime on him now. Uh, and he's doing really, really well. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We didn't really train any skills today. Or we didn't get new skills. We didn't. We, we did make enough. We could buy a uh, uh, a new skill injector or a, a, an alpha daily skill injector, but I'm gonna use that is to upgrade the ship so that we make more is so that we can make more skill injectors. Uh, this is the fit that we used. Uh, I do have it linked up on my Eve workbench cyclo. Uh, but with that being said, I do have to throw you guys at another person as it is time for me to do that weird thing where I go uh, work. And it looks like Satonia is doing 2v2 filaments. Uh, that might be fun to watch. So I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys at Satonia, who is doing uh, Abyssal Filaments uh, 2v2, which looks like fun. Uh, raid Trovi Satonia. Uh, I do have a cheaper version of this fit up on my Eve workbench. Uh, and I do... I'm, I'm probably going to put this fit as it is up on my work workbench today. Uh, during my lunch break, I'll come home, throw this up on your workbench, how it is. Are you doing dark filaments? We're specifically doing electricals. Uh, damage control is not better. Uh, damage control has a trade-off, so it uses a lot of CPU. Uh, but at the same time, it, uh, uh, it, it gives you a little bit of extra resist. So defensively, the damage control is better. Offensively, the multi-spectrum coding is better. We eat out a little bit more DPS out of the fit. Uh, anyways, I do got to get going. Uh, I, I wish I could stay and help more, but I do have to go to work. Uh, fly fun. Enjoy your time in EVE Online, because I know that I do. So I hope you do as well. Uh, Satonia is a, another awesome, helpful person. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one.